Today, rockets are our best way of escaping the atmosphere of Earth and reaching space. But the secret behind getting those machines to work is far from being simple. And this will directly take us to the sky on the Plasma channel. This channel also proved that the iron propulsion is possible by building an iron rifter made of aluminum foil and a small copper wire. But that was not enough because the iron rifter was not able to stay stable in the air. In order to help it gravitate, you will also need the small strings to help it not fall on the side. That was the great achievement of the plasma channel. To charge something so it can gravitate above the table. But today I want to talk about the MIT engineers. Who have built and found their first ever plane with no moving parts. It has a 2.2 kg grinder with 5 meter wingspan. The wing is strung with wires like horizontal fencing. Rhythm batteries in the fuge light supplies current to the wires. The battery supplies a positive charge to the wires along the front and the bottom of the wing, while the wires along the trading edge of the wing act as negative electrodes. The unique battery system supplies 4000 volts of electricity to the positive wires. The positive charge strips electrons away from the air molecules ionizing them. The newly ionized air molecules are then attracted to the negative electrodes at the wing's trading edge. This polarity creates the ionic wind that forces air around the wings creating rift and thrust. As the ionized air molecules travel to the negative electrodes, they collide with millions of other air molecules, propelling the aircraft forward. That is how this plane worked, but if you don't get it, you should also look at this video of this guy. He built an ionic thruster which produced a lot of ionic wind as he spaced the charged electrodes. And when he measured the weight of his power thruster, the weight dropped from 489 grams to 23 grams. This experiment was terrifying. But if you really understand this phenomena, you should also figure out how these MIT engineers built this iron propelled plane. Maybe we couldn't be able to prepare the spacecrafts from Earth using only ions due to the strongest gravitational pull and the air resistance. But the most important section of the iron thruster is how they move spacecrafts into space. So how does an iron thruster work? An iron thruster ionizes the propellant by adding or moving electrons to produce ions. Most thrusters ionize propellant by electron bombardment. A negative charge collides with a neutral charge releasing electrons from the neutral charge which will be resulting in a positive recharged ion. The gas produced consists of positive ions and negative electrons in proportions that result in no overall charge. This is called plasma. Plasma has some of the properties of a gas but it is affected by the electric and magnetic fields. The most common propellant used in ion proportion is xenon which is easily ionized and has high atomic mass, which helps us to generate a desirable level of thrust when ions are accelerated. It is also inert and has high storage density. Therefore, it is well suited for storing on spacecraft. In most ion thrusters, electrons are generated with a discharge holder cathode by a process called thermionic emission. Electrons produced by the discharge cathode are attracted to the discharge chamber walls which are charged to high positive potential by the voltage applied by the supply. Neutral propellant is injected into the discharge chamber, where the electrons bombard the propellant to produce the positive recharged ions and release more electrons. The positive recharged ions migrate toward the grids that contains thousands of very precisely aligned holes. The first grid is positive recharge electrode or screen grid. A very high positive voltage is applied to the screen grid, but it is configured to force the discharge plasma to reside at high voltage. As the ions pass between the grids, they are accelerated toward the negative electrode, and then the positive recharged ions are accelerated out of the thruster as an ion beam, which produces thrust. With this system, you can travel in the universe silently in any dilation, instead of moving in one dilation as the space rockets do. Let's talk a little about how these rockets escape the Earth's gravity. A rocket generates thrust using a controlled explosion as the fuel and the oxygen undergo a variant chemical reaction. Expanding gases from the explosion are pushed out of the back of the rocket nozzle. That channels the hot and high pressured gas created by combustion into a stream that escapes from the back of the nozzle at hypersonic speeds. 
Newton's third law of motion states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So the action force that drives the exit of the rocket nozzle must be balanced by an equal and opposite force pushing the rocket upward. These rockets also destroy nature due to the smokes released during the takeoff process. So that's why only iron thrusters are mind blowing. If we could get them to repair Earth's gravity, this could lead even to more advanced life stars on Earth. The MIT engineers have already provided proof uh, when they first gravitated a 2.2 kg plane uh, off the ground by using ions. This means if you also uh, work hard based on their lizards, we could even build a, a plane that can take us into space without burning any fuel. So I made this video to help you guys stay informed about these little inventions. So if you like it, give it a like, subscribe, and click the share button to let your friends get fight about it. See you next time.